the leading news story yesterday was the fact that Boris Johnson would not even look at a boy who had had to sleep for four hours on a hospital floor because of NHS cuts. And I think that was a real problem for the Tory party because it combined two of their weakest points. One, a perceived lack of empathy of Boris Johnson towards ordinary people. And two, their record on the NHS. And that record is phenomenally poor, really. So there are 4.4 million people waiting for an operation in England at the moment. That is the highest figure on record. And there were over half a million people waiting on hospital trolleys last year, which is 10 times the amount as when the Conservatives came into power. So combined with legitimate concerns about what the Conservatives might agree with Donald Trump in any future trade negotiation, I think having the NHS back at the top of the political agenda is incredibly important for voters to go to the polling booth on Thursday properly informed. The, the family of, of Jack, the, this young boy, said they don't want him to be used as, as a political football. They want, the, they want people to stop talking about him. Do you think the Labour Party are right to keep bringing him up? Well, what the Labour Party are bringing up is the NHS. So the issue here, obviously, it's, it's, it's very sad that this happened to this one boy, but the issue here is that this is happening over and over again every night in hospitals across Britain. And that is not a natural disaster. That's a result of political choices. So most people won't remember that every winter you had an NHS crisis with shocking photos like this before 2010. And that's because in those years, funding for the NHS was going up about 5% a year. For the past nine years, it's averaged about 0.5%. And what do you get when you apply a massive funding squeeze to a national health service? You get situations like this. So yes, I don't think we should obsess about this particular boy, especially if his parents want us to start talking about something else. And that's that's why we should focus on the issues. We should focus on the Conservatives' record on the NHS, what risk a Conservative government, especially in negotiations with Donald Trump, might pose to the NHS, and what Labour are suggesting in terms of rescuing it. So I do think it's important to focus on the issues instead of this particular event. Mm -hmm.